What is going on people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and welcome to another league game. In fact, the first league game of this year. Today we're going up against Fire United and you may recognise this ground. This is where we've played Lopez de Vares twice, once in the cup and once in the league. This is where we're currently sitting in the league. We are still in first place and Fire United are sitting in 17th. Obviously last week we were disappointed with the result, but we're gonna put last week's game behind us and we're gonna to look to put things right this week. But before we crack on, today's match day video partner is Google Pay. If you've got an Android phone, it is a fast, simple and secure way of paying in app, in store or on public transport without needing your wallet. Especially useful when you can't reach for your wallet and you're lugging kids around like us. All you need to do is wake your phone and tap to pay. You can also use Google Pay to pay for food online and that is exactly what we're going to do now. Right here at this stadium there is not a snack bar so what a perfect time to pay for some food online. And we did send out a poll this morning specifically asking what type of pizza you guys would prefer. And some of you guys voted for Hawaiian, I don't know why, but we're going to be going for pepperoni as that was the winner. And when it comes it's going to be handed out to Spencer and the fans here today. So if you are running Android and are over the age of 18, get yourself using Google Pay. The link to the app can be found down in the link in the description. Double trouble. However, I've got one question for you and one question only. How does it feel to be player of the month for December? Yeah, it's decent to be fair. I mean, the best thing about this club is its fans and to get voted a player of the month by them is pretty special, man. Oh, and your number one Adam. fan being Couchy. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Couchy made a thousand accounts and just basically done all the voting. That's what I love him for, you know. He's been with me through thick and thin. Boys, you know, boys are the Stuck way. in there, you know, love this guy. <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to Hi, Bank. Guys. Everyone in the comments put happy birthday, Peds. Make sure you do it. I'm not going to ask you how old you are, but <laughs> what have you got planned today, apart from spend it away with hashtag? Um, well, after we win, we get three points. Nice. Uh, Mrs. Uh, is uh, taking me out, but I don't know where. Ah, oh, surprise. Oh, yeah, surprise. Nice. I like that. Looking forward to it. And we like food and all that sort of banter as well. For me personally, I think for a lot of the audience, I can speak on behalf of them. You've playing very well lately. You're obviously coming to the team quite, quite late. How are you settling in so far? Yeah, I like it. Boys are good. Welcome me in. And everyone else involved in the club. Um, obviously, we haven't always got the results that we probably were looking for, mm. but we're still top, and I think as long as we keep the attitude right, we'll get what we want. So it has come to that time of the week that you all love down in the comments, is uh, Jacko time. He knows I'm coming, he's not happy about it either. I'm not even gonna say it. <sighs> I don't know why you are. <laughs> No, Give it to me then. I'm not going to ask it. Come on. New year, new me. Nothing. Nothing to report. You are a liar. I read in the paper this week about... There we go. ...about a certain bakery. Bakers. They're not bakers anymore. I think they've moved away from that. But okay. you go there to get your sausage rolls, right? I know where this is going. Well, you go there How can people get... moan about food, Jacko? Seriously. You go there to get a sausage roll. <sighs> sausage. I'm not... Listen, my wife's a vegetarian. My kids are vegetarian. But you like meat? I like meat. Yeah. But I don't turn up here today and go, Lou, I'm Jacko. I eat loads of meat. They turn up, don't they? They turn up and, oh, I'm a vegan. Before they've even said their name, does what? Well, the same people, mm. they have the, was it, mocha chocolate with a flat white, with a shot of know? caramel. Yeah. Does well, then. You want a coffee, have a coffee. You want a tea, have a tea. These people, they want their head checking. And what do you drink? What's in that? Water. Well, I say water. There's a shot of peach in a, a mint leaf. Devs, team news today, please. Uh, team news today, a um, couple of changes from last week. Uh, keeping the back four the same. Um, Jacko's in uh, for AJ. Um, midfield, um, Lee's drops to the bench. Uh, he's got this kind of long-term issue that we have to nurse him through, and he's just been starting to feel it the last, last couple of games. Plus, we've got a, another game in midweek, so we're, we're looking to manage that one carefully. So. Um, He's going to be on the bench. Uh, Charlie comes in. And he's going to play alongside Ricky. Um, I think he did really well when he came on last week, and he's been kind of, you know, really patient, and he's done well, and he, he gets his chance to start today. And uh, Adji comes in. Uh, he's going to play up front with, with Richo. We're kind of changing things slightly, um, formation-wise today, and we're going to look at two up top. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, that that'll work for us. A uh, couple that are not available, Matt Carter's ill unfortunately, he's been ruled out this morning with illness. Um, Tash um, is struggling with a, with a groin injury so he's not made the squad. Uh, Kane's now fit so he'll come back in onto the bench. Um, and 
I think that's it in terms of fr from changes from the last game. Uh, yeah. Touch. Oh, he turned. Touch. Bagging. Not sure what we're going to come up against. I'm guessing it's going to be um, an element of freedom to their play, similar to um, some of the other sides we've played this year. Maybe not so much structure from what I hear. But all I'm really worried about is us and what we do. You've been on the pitch before. Um, if you thought it couldn't get any worse last time, you were wrong. But we've got to deal with it, we've got to contend with it. And there's every chance you'll play on worse this season. Don't underestimate the value of being together. Poor sides can be good teams because they're together and, and be organised and look after each other. Decent sides can be really, really good teams. And that's what you see the difference, even in the top, 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 top sides. The ones that you can tell play for each other and the togetherness. That's what we've got to be, that's what we are, that's what I want us to be. On the pitch, off the pitch, whether you're wearing football boots, whether you're carrying a camera, whether you're the physio or the kit man, be together. And today, we, we've had, I've had my little gripe at you, I've had my moan at you, you've took it on the chin, you've dealt with it, and even if you've not liked it, agreed with it, you've taken it and you've got round each other and you've addressed it. And I love that, I love that, and that makes me confident for today. But you've got to take that out there with you. Don't leave it in here. Don't leave it on your. Don't leave it on your on your group chat. Take it onto the pitch every single week. Yeah, let's get, go to go to work. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United League game. The first game of 2019. We're away back at the Terence McMillan Stadium for the third time this season, but it's the first time we're playing Fire United. We currently find ourselves 17th position in the table. Conversely, we're at the top of the table. We're expected to win this game, but they have got uh, gone two games without a defeat. They drew with Hackney Wick last game in a local derby, and they beat Lopez Tavares. Another team made up of Portuguese speakers. This team, uh, a lot of them are from Brazil, and uh, it's going to be an interesting game here. Of course, I'm joined by Faisal, Manj Dog, Manji for the first time since our first home game of the season. You're back. Faisal, are you ready? Yep, first away game, nice and chilly today, so a great time to be playing Fire United. I like what you've done there. Have you been prepping that one, have you? Just thought of it now. <laughs> okay, it's very what good. What I normally do is I think and then I speak and that's how I get through life. <laughs> All right, what are you expecting from the game today? Uh, two teams playing football on that pitch over there. If I don't get that, I'll be disappointed. As, as will I. Um, we're hoping for a win, but it's not going to be easy. If we want to get back to winning ways after a draw in the league last week, let's take a look at the team that's going to be going up against Fire United. In goal today is Jamie Jackson. In defence we have Tom Williams, Ross Glean at centre back, Jack Harrison still missing. He has had his baby girl Margot, so congratulations to him and his wife Lottie. Bryce Ngarno also at centre back. Simon Peds Peddy at right back in an unchanged back four. Slight mix up on the rest of the pitch. We're going for a 4 4 2 today with a flat four in the middle. Harry Honesty left midfield. Ryan Adams right midfield. In the middle, Ricky Evans with Charlie Morley getting a start in centre midfield. Meaning up front for the first time we're starting Daniel Agi and Neil Richmond together. There could be goals. On the bench, we've got Kane Brogham, Lee Hursett, who's nursing an injury, George Valentine, Aaron Couch, and Marcus Stamp. Let's go. OK, we're about to get things kicked off here at the Terence McMillan. Quick note, uh, no Matt Carter today who's uh, fallen ill, so unavailable, which is a shame because he was suspended last week. We were hoping to welcome him back, but it gives a chance for someone else to come in and shine. It's also Simon Petty's birthday today. He's starting right back, so hopefully he can get uh, three points for his birthday. You may notice the, the kit is slightly different to normal. We're using our home kit socks with our away kit shorts and top because of a kit clash issue with Fire United, who surprisingly don't play in red. you think Fire would play in red, wouldn't you? Well, it starts with yellow, then it gets red as it burns. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing the boys in their away kit since we're playing away. Um, and their home socks since we are at the home of football. <laughs> this is the home of football. I mean, I'll say it's more of the caravan of football. You don't always see a lot of football played here, I'm not going to lie. The pitch isn't in the best nick, um, but that is part of the non-league. We've got to cope with it. We can't make excuses. I'm looking forward to seeing how two up front can do on this pitch. Daniel Adji and Richmond together could be electric. Ricky Evans gets us underway, playing the ball back to his new centre mid partner, Charlie Morley, who controls it with the left foot and plays a long ball with the right foot. He's got that ambidextrous nature and straight away we're going through from kickoff. Link up play between Adji and Richmond, just not resulting in anything. 
good statement of intent there from Hashtag straight from kickoff. Morley's got that in his locker. Peds with the throw in. Looking for Adji. Controls it. Good hold up from Adji. Can he find a man? Great strength on the ball. Still Adji. He gets the free kick. Looking strong and composed in possession. So you've got a left footer here whipping this in. You want to drop it in an area that's going to just arc over the first man but not be in the keeper's territory. And then it's all about our strikers running onto it. Tom Williams put it high towards the back post. Headed back in towards Adji. And then Harry Honesty swipes it over left foot and it's over. I mean, I don't know what the ball did to offend Harry, but he just leathered that to, into next week. Yeah, I mean, he was a little bit off balance, wasn't he? He didn't have the best connection. Well, it was a good connection, but it, it wasn't over the top of the ball. And that's what happens when it, you... Uh, in rugby, I think that gets you three points. Free kick here for fire. It's going to be taken by number six, I believe, Patrick Goncalves. Very similar to our one, whipping it in from the no, other it's angle. Number four, it's a good connection. Oh, and it needed to be cleared. And again, it's a chance that goes missing for fire. It looked like that one was just hanging up at the back post. So what happened there was got deflected into a dangerous area and the, and the, and the, uh, the Fire United play here away from the goal instead of towards the goal. It might have been going in on its own if it left it, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's not how you score goals. You have to hit it towards the goal. So uh, something for them to work on. Good work from Charlie Morley to get the ball back in the middle. Running forward like a gazelle. Still going here. Finding Daniel Adji. Can he get a shot away? Good recovery from that man, Matthias Sekula, who looks to be the last line of defence for fire. Great work from Morley there, winning the ball on the halfway line, intercepting and driving forward. Hashtag were outnumbered, but managed to offload it to Adji, who uh, won us the corner, but perhaps could have got a shot away. Perhaps. Has Devs uncovered something in Charlie Morley, some potential? Is he a centre midfielder in disguise this whole time? We've been playing him up front or in the wing. Ross Glee takes it down, sends it forward. Can Adji get there? Does enough to make it hard for the centre back. And there's a hesitation at the back. Could go in front of Ricky Evans who hits it on the lob over the keeper. But not enough on it to go in. He's tried to dink him there. Adji there causing trouble in the box. And it fell to Ricky Evans who scored a few screams from that position this season. I've seen him on YouTube. Uh, but just couldn't quite get enough on the lob. Chance here. Ryan Adams picks out Harry Honesty after doing very well to get the ball back for hashtag. Harry Honesty couldn't get it under control. It's all action. Oh, it was a throw in. <laughs> Captain wins the header, but Ross Glead comes through and wins another one. Flicked through now. Can Adji counter? Oh, he actually could be through here. Chance for hashtag. Big save from Goncalves. Comes to Richo on the left foot. Oh, and it's wide. What a chance there for Richo to capitalise on Adji's good work and a great header from Ross, who's been solid. Uh, keeper made a good save, to be fair, for a gesture. And uh, Richo will definitely think he could have got that on target. Daniel Adji did really well to create a chance there out of seemingly nothing. And yeah, the keepers were equal to it. To be fair to uh, Wellington Goncalves, give him credit where credit's due. Starting to get through now in the middle. Ricky Evans in a battle in the middle here. Ryan Adams coming to get involved, but it is Daniel Lopez who helps fire, get the ball back. Kim Santos, the captain, plays it forward. Sorry, that's Rui Samedo. They're not winning a lot of these headers. They're bouncing through a lot. Daniel Adji, can he get it under control? Can he get a shot away? He's got Ryan Adams to his right. He's holding up the ball fantastically. Back to Ryan here. Looks to beat his man and, and cross one in. It's a good ball towards the back stick. And it's oh, what's Richmond. The goal. Come on. What Lovely a Lovely football from Hashtag there. We talked earlier, spent an eye about Ryan playing on the right in his delivery. As he held out well, pinged it out to him. Ryan put in a delicious ball into the box. And Richo has those for breakfast regularly, I'm told. That was straight out the Faisal Manage Dog Manji textbook of crossing. A beautiful ball to the back stick. Target man header from Richo. I mean, that ball, that's a ball I can watch all day long. And uh, if you give me the footage, I will. I'll just go and watch it. I'll put it on a floppy disk for you. Back in action here then. Fire trying to get back in this game. Adji's come across and got a ball off them. Ryan Adams is coming forward. Their player stayed down. Richo's going to chase this one. Fire looking a bit ropey now. Richo. Drilling it across, looking for Adji. It skims off his head. It's a great ball again. You can just feel the intensity's gone up a notch here and hashtag a, a turning the screw while the fire um, sentiment is still down from kickoff. Looked pretty innocuous. Adji controlling the ball in his stride. Forcefully pushed off the ball. And I'd say legally though, so it's fine. And the ref plays on. Captain there does well. Number five, Rui Samedo to get it over to the right wing back. I do think Fire are going for a, a back five today. 
just uh, fell over the ball there. So it's not ideal. Thrown into Harry Honesty. Can he knock it on once more for Neil Richmond? Richmond hits it! Oh! oh. oh. From our angle, it looked like it could have been going in. Audacious attempt there from Richo. Confident after his first goal. I love to see it on the replay because that looked close. Lovely header over from Harry Honesty as well. We're getting things going now. We're, we're firing on all cylinders. Just need a couple more goals. Raises his right hand in the air. Here's the ball from Tom. It's nice. Back post. Headed by Peds. Could have been a birthday goal. It was over. Tom Williams raising his right hand there like he just don't care. And Peds pouncing on the cross for a birthday goal. Uh, but didn't quite get it on target. Maybe next year. Ball in from Peds. Headed away. Charlie Morley to collect it. Oh, nice little movement. Hits it from distance. You know what? I don't mind him striking then because he's got it in his locker. He's got a lot of that in his locker. In fact, there's not much space for anything else in his locker. I've seen him do that in New York City. And the ball cannoned off the bar. Bounced onto the line, but actually behind the line. And it was given as a goal. There's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-0 to Hashtag United in a half that's been dominated by the boys in blue. Maybe could have had more goals, Faisal? Yeah, a real uh, dominant performance and uh, probably could have capitalised on that a little bit more. Uh, but that's something that I'm sure Devs will get into them at half-time, just to up the intensity. We saw it for a brief period of 10 minutes. We need that more of that in the second half and I'm sure the goals will start coming. See you for the second half soon. Scores currently 1-0 to Hashtag United versus Fire. It's horrible. We knew it was going to be horrible. It's just, it's the horrific conditions to play it. And I think you've done really well. You deserve to be ahead. I think we've been as comfortable as you, as you like at the back, but the key is now concentration. It's about keep staying switched on and making sure that we don't ca get caught up. Because the, the problem is when you, you're kind of so dominant, and I know it's not necessarily with possession, but more, more territory and, and we win the ball back quick, it's easy to get kind of embroiled in watching the game and not organising. And that's where we've just got to be switched on across that back line and make sure that we don't come, we still don't take risks, we still just do the right thing. Don't worry about mistakes. Don't worry about, it's going to bobble up on you. It's going to mess up on you. As long as you keep it in their half of the pitch, we can react and we can cope with it. Today's not the day about being easy on the eye, about being pretty. It's about being professional and doing the job. Certainly more chances to be, to be got, but it's not about being clever and creative. It's about hitting the right areas and then making the most of, of, of the bounce of the ball. It's been good, but as a warning, it's only one nil. All right, so I'm not going to tell Devs. I've just come out of the team talk, but um, I've got the pieces in. Shout out to Google Play. Manager, jump in. I'm Veggie. Hey, that's one of them. He's Veggie and he's having a pepperoni. Don't tell your dad. Don't tell your dad. Don't want any. So, one new player introduced in the second half for Fire United. Hashtag remain unchanged. A little bit darker now as the sun's gone in. There wasn't really a sun in the first place. And we're underway here in the second half. Can Hashtag United keep on top, secure three points and stay on top of the league? Number 19 has come on Leonardo Santos for fire in the only substitution at half-time. Let's go. Hashtag still searching for that second goal. Charlie Morley loving the battle. Good work from Peds. What can Harry Honesty do? We haven't seen much in this game. Adji does fantastically to get the ball off his man there. And he's fouled for, what, the 10th time this game? And I yeah. think the ref's going to book him. I've said uh, several times today, Adji's been busy, very, very busy, causing a lot of trouble. And, and their centre-backs know they're in a battle. Our ones have been pretty pretty steady. Uh, they've had the best, uh, the better out of, out of their strikers, but we're causing them problems. And they're not happy about that. Fire coming down the left side now. Putting it into the box. Needs to be cleared. And it is by Ross Gleed. All the way to Harry. Uh, to Adji. He's played in Harry Honesty. Keeper's off his line. Honesty's hit it. And it's in. And it's 2 0. Daniel Adji with the assist. Harry Honesty with the finish. Keeper's made a really big call there to come out that early. Harry spotted it and just culturedly swept it into the right corner. And the ball just took its time to hit back of the net but it did it was route one it started with Ross Glee doing well to get the ball played it straight into Adji's feet who turned 
past it fantastically into the path of Harry Honesty. And the rest was history. 2-0 to hashtag. That's what we needed. Another Tom Williams free kick. Low. He's gone to Peds here at the right back. He's put it in. Looking for Ryan Adams. Cleared by a defender. Peds again now. Oh, as a rugby tackle. And it's been allowed by the ref. Going forward. Oh, the man's fallen down. Gleed. Oh, Gleedy. That's beautiful from Gleed. Now, that's actually Tom Williams who's played it to Gleed. They could be brothers, these two. Richo winning the free kick. And that's the story of the game, isn't it? We've won free kicks in, in their area. One thing about Jack Harrison, he's so annoying that the centre-backs don't want to go near him. Yeah. Williams with the ball. That's a good ball. Oh, and it's bouncing in front of the goal. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. He's in. And I think it's Ryan, Ryan Adams. Ryan at the back post there. Lovely poacher's goal. Quality delivery. We saw we we're right behind that. Nice whippage. And now we have converted. 3-0 now to Hashtag United. The skipper for the day, Ryan Adams with the goal. And that is his ninth goal of the season. So close to double figures for the debut season in non-league. A goal and an assist this game. Ryan Adams, captain's performance. Tom Williams got to deal with this ball. He does very well. Charlie Morley helps it on. Harry Honesty fails to get it under control. Adji on the ball. He's been so instrumental in today's game, Adji. Looking good in a, in a two-man strike force. Harry Honesty's beating his man here. He's done fantastically well to hold on to the ball and win the free kick. So many free kicks won this game. Yeah, another free kick. We saw uh, a goal come from one recently. Can we repeat that? I think the heads are uh, heads are going down from the Fire United players now. We can really capitalise, work on the goal difference. And I'm sure there's a few players out there that want to fill their boots and uh, grab a goal. Got an, a rare outswinger here from Tom Williams. I've seen Charlie take uh, a lot of the free kicks from this side. Right hand goes up. What does that mean? Oh, back post. Opportunity! Ricky Evans was at the back stick. It just didn't fall for him. Ryan Adams done fantastically well there to make a chance out of this. Back to the stick. How are you on the Oh! And it's turned in by Daniel Adji at the back post. And it's 4 0. Hashtag United. Harry Honesty unlucky not to get the goal. Yeah, great play from Hashtag again. Beautiful to watch. Swung in. Ryan recycles it with another great delivery. Harry doesn't get it on target. But like a good forward, Daniel Adji's there stiffing out a goal. And he's got his goal. He's worked so hard today. It's been good to see. And uh, Hashtag running away with it. Ryan Adams, Harry Honesty, Daniel Adji all registering a goal and an assist today. Substitution for hashtag. Looks like Aaron Couch is going to be introduced for Harry Honesty. Another substitution for hashtag United. Ryan Adams, who's also got a goal and assist today, is going to come off. And we're going to see number 15, George Valentine, introduced. Bad tackle there from Fire. Tempers are flying. There's going to be another card. Injection of pace there from George Valentine. I think Ricky Evans might shoot this. I'm going to put it out there. I think he wants to bang it. Ricky Evans standing over it. Charlie Morley hits it though. Oh! And it's an unbelievable free kick matched by an unbelievable save from the goalkeeper, Wellington Goncalves. It gets a round of applause from the crowd. Manji, that was straight out of your textbook. I mean, that was supreme technique. That, that is the, the highest calibre of free kick there by Charlie. Uh, that's going to look great on the replays. He's got that in his locker. He's brought it out for all of us to see. And he's unlucky not to see that nest on the top corner. Going to see the final substitution of the game done shortly here. It's going to be Charlie Morley going off, who's had a great game starting for the first time in centre midfield for Hashtag. He's got a little bit of an injury here, so he's going to go off. Kane Brogan's going to come on. And I imagine that will see him go to right back. Ted's moved to centre-back and Ross Gleed to move into the middle. Kane Brogan throws it back to Farai. Over to Peds. Over to Tom Williams. Good switch of the play from Hashtag. Williams down the line looking for Adji. Adji could get this. Oh, he's come through that challenge beautifully. Could it be another goal? Daniel Adji! Oh, he's tried to put it through the keeper's legs, I think. He had the whole goal to aim at. He's gone back to Ricky Evans and it's been intercepted. And you have to say, Adji should have two or three goals this game now. 
Maybe it's tired legs there at the end of the game, but Adji had the goal to aim at. He could have put it near post. He could have put it far and instead he just put it straight down the keeper's throat. He makes the chances himself sometimes out of nothing, but then to not take them is double disappointing because it would be so much credit to him if he scored. And there's the final whistle here at the Terence McMillan Stadium. It's a very, very convincing 4-0 victory to Hashtag United versus Fire. Devs will be very happy with that one. Hashtag stay top of the league. Fraser, what did you make of it? Yeah, strong performance from everyone uh, in a blue shirt today. I think everyone had a good game. Uh, very patient and eventually just wore down the opposition by constantly playing in their half. And uh, the goals came. A couple of options for you for man of the match, Fraser. Who are you going to go with? Well, as I said, a lot of strong performances. Uh, Ross Gleed impressed me at the back. Uh, good distribution, solid. Charlie Morley gave something different playing in the centre midfield. Something to think about there. He's a very talented guy. Good range of passing and got stuck in. Ryan impressed me on the right wing. Good deliveries. Great goal. But it's got to go uh, to Dan Adji today just for relentless work rate up there. Really making it difficult for the defenders. He got his goal. Did some great work off the ball. And uh, he's well-deserved man of the match. I love that man of the match. Well done to Dan Adji. We're going to go inside and see what Devs has to say. But it's a good start to 2019 for Hashtag United. Picking up three points. Staying top of the league. 4-0 versus Fire United. Charlie, <laughs> what's happened? Oh, I don't know. Man. I hope it's not as serious as it felt. But I've never felt a hamstring how it felt. Like, they're always tight. But I felt like... Good. I think we knew before the game how horrible it would be playing out there. We spoke about it at half time and I thought you were doing well first half. You got better second half, got even better. Because as you got it got more stretched, they got dragged about a little bit more and we got more opportunity. And that is a really good, solid, comprehensive away win in a difficult place. And you've dealt with it brilliantly. So please in a clean sheet, four goals, four different goal scorers, so much to take from it. I'm not really one for kind of individual praise and talk about that, but because the because he's laying there a little bit stricken. The first game I was involved with, with these guys was back in up in Scotland a while back. And if someone had said to me that this this dumpling that was playing up front for us, I'm only really interested in, in, in tricks and things. Someone said that he would still be playing for us in January. Well, I wouldn't have laughed, but I would certainly would have disagreed with them, right? You were absolutely magnificent today, Charlie. Absolutely brilliant. And that's credit to you because it's testament to what happens with the right attitude and, and hard work and being patient and being prepared to listen. And we've had this kind of conversation separately. There will be for you probably because you're, you're new to the competitive nature of the game. And there's a few of you new to the competitive nature of the game in here. But you carry on like that and you, you, you know, this is just a, a bit minor setback. But honestly, honestly, that's testament to what we, we, we can all be. It's about being better, better versions of ourselves, isn't it? And, and striving to, to improve. And, and that's, um, that deserves a special mention. Because I would not, six months ago, I'd have said, it's not, that's not going to happen. It's not, really not. And you've... Pleasing for me that you've proved me wrong. Who are you talking about anyway? Exactly, because you saw him. <laughs> You know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, brilliant, all of you, well done, fantastic. Good boy. Right, so I'm here with Daniel Adji, managed to bag a goal and an assist. How's the game for you? Um, it, was, it was very good. Um, conditions were difficult. We battled really hard. Um, we pressed, harried, and we got the goals that's, that we needed for the three points. Um, I got a word from Devs telling me to be on my toes, get, get in, in down the channels, work the last defender, and I try to do that best as I can set the plays off and then start from there. And that is a wrap guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. What a performance that was, team performance, and obviously big shout out to Dan Laggy and the likes of Charlie Morley and all that as well. But this is where we are currently standing in the league. We are still in first place. And our next game is against Wormley Rovers at home on Tuesday. So as mentioned earlier, if you are on Android, be sure to click the link in the description if you are over 18 and go and download Google Pay. But as always guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you are new, and as always, don't get the hashtag it.